What is up, everybody? Welcome to episode 235 of the Jackal Show. And I gotta get to class. So does Justin. He's at the DMAC. No, I'm not. I'm going to Spanish. <laughs> Never mind. Justin's not at the DMAC. <laughs> I have a test. You have a test? All Spanish 201 people have tests today. On what? Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cool. I like it. Alright, well, uh, Justin, anything you want to say before we get going? I'm gonna play DDR later. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, Autobots. Rule out. No. <laughs> Wasn't that a good one? No, it was not. <laughs> Showed us this new way, uh, new way to go to class. Oh yeah, it's so much faster. It's a lot faster. It's funny. <coughs> well, it's like longer, but yeah. the people are so slow. This has quite the view. Chapacolas? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, Chapacolas is another color. <sighs> Alright, class is out. Had a good time. I'm feeling a little hot, so I'm gonna go relax in the dorm a little bit. Relax and write my monologue. Fun stuff. <laughs> Sounds good. It's the first time I've ever been in this building. But I'm looking for a professor's office. So I want to talk to them about doing a music technology minor. Yeah, I'm gonna look, keep looking. This is cool. I'm gonna be honest, I have no clue where I'm going. <laughs> Alright, so I looked it up. Her office is on floor three. Her office is 302. So I'm gonna head there now. Hopefully, I have a conversation with the lady who's in charge of it, Dr. Amy Graziano. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. We'll find out. Okay, found her office, but she's not there. So I'm gonna check back another day. Cool. That's all I gotta say. All right, and I'm back at the dorm. Um, you guys have been asking, well, this is distracting. Um, you guys have been asking for a couple of videos about diversity here at Chapman. No, how should I say this? Since I've said this before, um, I'm a straight guy from Pennsylvania. A straight white guy. A straight white guy, that's it. Since I'm a straight white guy from Pennsylvania, there's a little wink in that video too. I don't really think I'm qualified to talk about diversity too much, but I know a couple of people who are. So today, I'm gonna talk with my friend Chris and let him tell his story to you guys. And I'll just start off by saying, Chris, tell us a little bit about yourself. All right, uh, what can Wizard say? I'm from Hong Kong. I'm half Filipino, half Chinese. Came to Chapman for college, never lived in America. Only ever came here with family for vacation and stuff. I'm a film studies major, but currently in the process of switching to film production. Knock on wood that happens, but we'll see. Yeah, there's really not much else to say. Just regular guy, really. Not much to share. Now, just to get to know you a tiny bit more, tell us about your favorite film. Everyone, everyone who watches the show knows mine's La La Land, which is controversial. Last week, found out everybody bringing in close. My acting teacher hates La La Land. <laughs> I know, I know. Um, but Chris, tell us about your favorite film real quick. All right, um, well, anyone who knows me, one of the first things they know about me is my favorite movie is without question, The Dark Knight. Oh. Um, as a kid, Batman was always like my go-to. So, you know, growing up watching the Tim Burton films and the cartoons, that was awesome. But then as I got older, you know, I really wanted this kind of gritty, realist, kind of take on it, and eventually Nolan brought that to the screen of Batman Begins, which I loved, but then eventually brought it to, brought Dark Knight into the world, and I absolutely fell in love with it. Everything from the cinematography, which is like huge for me because I love cinematography, it's my favorite part of filmmaking, to um, the characters and like, you know, Heath Ledger's acting, you can't beat it, it's just 
un indescribable how well he did in that film. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of the entire series as a whole, even though Dark Knight Rises was a bit shaky for me. But um, yeah, so Dark Knight, always been my favorite film. Even like just the tone and the, the genre that it's in, it's kind of like this Nero, hyper-realist kind of crime thriller. And it's not, I wouldn't even call it a superhero movie. It's a, I would call it a crime thriller that happens to have Batman in it. Hmm. So yeah, it's just a great time. That's a good movie. Um, good for film, film students to check out. And even if you're just a regular movie goer, it's just a quality movie. That is actually one of my top five films. So I'm glad you said that. Dark Knight's amazing. I, I just love everything about it. So, to go from that to kind of a different topic, Chapman. Now, I already told everybody why I chose Chapman, but for you, from someone from Hong Kong, one, how did you find out about Chapman? And two, what made you decide to come here? So, um, obviously coming from Hong Kong, Hong Kong's not really the place for film. I mean, of course we have the people like Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan, and if you're into like those art house movies, Wong Kar Wai, who did like Chunky Express and In the Mood for Love. So, you know, um, filmmakers in Hong Kong come by very rarely, and usually they come by in a way that is not film school. They kind of come out of um, something else like I think Wong Kar Wai was an artist before he became a filmmaker and you know obviously Bruce Lee was a martial artist so was Jackie Chan he was a stuntman before becoming a filmmaker as well so you know there was this kind of stigma against like being a filmmaker especially like in a very conservative eastern society where you know being an art student is not nearly as interesting nor as accepted as being like a medicine in medicine or in law or something like that so you know it just made perfect sense to like c go away from hong kong and like go somewhere where that kind of thing is normal and to be being artistic is something that doesn't get looked down upon uh, not saying Hong Kong hates arts, but like generally Western societies are more accepting towards it. Yeah, um, it just made perfect sense. And uh, honestly, a lot of Hong Kong students after high school leave the country if they are not going to medicine or law, because that's like what they're known for. So um, yeah, in my case, I came to California. I obviously wanted to go to California because where else are you going to go for film? Right. Um, NYU kind of sucks, not going to lie. <laughs> um, so yeah, I loved the idea of coming to California. My brother actually lives here just 20 minutes away. Um, he goes to UCI. So, you know, California was just like the go-to. So I was thinking like U USC, Loyola, and then I was just looking through a bunch of like different lists of best film schools that in um, around California and Chapman came up. What made Chapman stand out to me was because Chapman is such like a small liberal art school, which is something I really wanted. I didn't want like a giant institutional kind of deal like USC where everything feels so commercialized and like I feel like what comes from that like although that's an advantage you get a lot of funding and great equipment you kind of lose what is the heart of a, both a college experience and what it lies at the heart of filmmaking which is story and like you know being true to your art rather than like being in it for the money hmm. so you know Chapman was just like the go-to instantly applied and out fell in love with it day one. That's so cool that you said like that is so commercialized at other places. And like I you obviously know people from USC, right? Yeah, that, that go into their film school. And like it's not a it's not a bad place to go if you want to be in the industry. But the thing I love most about Chapman is just that like you come here and you feel like you're building a community. And you feel like there are already people like Joey, for example, he said that he wants Cody to be his cinematographer. Exactly. And it's like, there's people like Ryan Johnson and Steve Yedlin who've literally worked together since high school. And I think that's what Chapman has. Yeah. So it's cool that you said that. Definitely, like making connections, especially at Chapman, is such a vital part of being a film student. So like you said, Joey and Cody, they kind of have become like a, kind of like a duo where Joey directs and Cody uh, shoots and like, me myself, I have a lot of like crew of my own that I go and set on and like even upperclassmen like Cody's working on um, grad theses, I'm working on like on undergraduate theses, AAPs and like I'm shooting an IP this weekend so that's gonna be a fun time and like yeah honestly making connections is such a huge part of being a Chapman yeah yeah that's so cool that's really all the questions I think you guys wanted to hear if there's any other questions you guys want to know anything you want Chris to answer just let us know down in the comments or in Instagram message. You guys know my Instagram down below, Jack underscore rule. Chris, where can people contact you or see anything that you've done? Oh gosh, um, if you wanna see my work, you can check out my Instagram, uh, cinematography.chris. That it's such a clean title, I love it. That's um, so great. Yeah, and yeah, you can just uh, check it out there and yeah. Awesome. Uh, if, you ever, if, if you're ever looking for someone to shoot for you, hit me up. Definitely. Yep. All right. Well, um, Chris, anything else you want to say to the show? Stay awesome. I like it. <laughs>
<laughs> Alright, cool. Um, well, everybody, I'm glad I had Chris on the show, but right now, I need to get writing. I have a monologue due tomorrow that is uh, for my acting class. The thing about monologues are that they're supposed to be emotional, though. So I wasn't really sure what I was going to write it about until I figured out that I'm going to write about a... I don't know if I can say. Never mind. I'm not... I'm not gonna share. Um, doesn't matter. Anyways, all you need to know is that I need to write a monologue and that I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna experiment with method writing, which means that I'm gonna try and get myself into that state of mind that I am physically in the location and mentally in the location of where I'm writing. So I need to take myself back to something that happened this past summer, some, uh, some emotional experiences. I need to have it memorized for tomorrow, so thankfully this is something that I think about all the time, but yeah, I'm gonna get writing. Um, but before I do, I gotta get my environment into the zone. <laughs> it's just a weird way of me saying that I'm gonna close down shop. <laughs> I still have a little bit more writing to do, but that's about it. That's all, all I'm gonna talk to you guys about today. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm so glad that I got Chris on the show. He's a great friend and a great filmmaker. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. And as always, you know who's gonna say it. Look at that face. If only you had, he just knows. If only you had a clip of someone else saying be awesome, and then when you say you know who's gonna say it, when you when you point it at me, it just cuts to somebody else saying it. Or I could just Photoshop his face over yours. Photoshop Chris Louie's face into it. Okay, go for it. Be awesome. <laughs> Chris Louie. Chris Louie is a legend. Chris, Chris Louie. I stared at him for a bit. <laughs>